Welcome back, everyone. Okay, today we are gonna start with the question number 18. Okay, let's start right away. The question number 18. Which of the following is different from the others? We are given a logarithm function, right? Logarithm. Like, the definition of the log is, when we are given a form like this, a to the c power is equal to b, right? Therefore, in this, uh, let's look at the answer choice A. It says log boot base of 525. It is, in other words, it is equal to 2. Why? Because 5 to the second power is equal to 25, right? Therefore, the answer is 2. What about B? The answer choice B, um, 2 to the second power is also 2, also 4, right? So, um, for the A and B value, they are equal as 2's, right? Let's look at C. Is it 5 to the second power equal to 10? No, it is not equal to 10. It is 25, right? Therefore, C is the only different um, value like comparing to other answer choices. Let's verify that by looking at the answer choice D. Um, 1 over 3 to the second power is equal to 1 over 9. Therefore, right, um, the answer for the answer D is 2 as well, and E accordingly two as well. Therefore, the answer gotta be C, the only different one from others. Number 19, which of the following has domain of all real numbers? Okay, you can simply graph this out with your calculator and then see uh, if the graph, if the graph uh, has like all the, all the domain, you know, all the real numbers as this domain. Um, like, as your choice A, if it's a square root of x, then the graph looks like this, right? So it doesn't have anything on the negative x side, therefore, like, um, it doesn't have all real numbers as domain. So, like, answer choice A cannot be the answer, right? So, like, accordingly, if you do that, answer choice C, when you graph this out, okay, let's graph this out. It is x minus 3, it means 3 units to the right side, right? 3 units to the right side. The graph looks like something like this, and it has all the x values as this domain, right? Therefore, it has, um, it's the answer for the number 19. Okay, easy question. Let's move on to number 20. If 3 to the uh, x minus 1 over 5 square is equal to 1, then x value is... Okay, when we are comparing those figures, we should equate the base. We are given 3 to the x minus 1 over 5 to the second power. 1, in other words, can be rewritten as 3 to the 0 power, right? 3 to the 0 power. Then it is easy. Why? Because now we can only compare this two, right? They should be equal. x minus 1 over 5 to the square should be equal to 0. Therefore, the value for the x got to be equal to 1 over 5, correct? 1 over 5. Therefore, among our answer choices, D is the correct answer. Okay, let's move on to number 21. Number 21 says the population of the region in the United States was 10.7 million. If the population were to increase 0.43% annually for 17 years, by what percentage would the population have increased after such a period? Okay, so we are given the original number, 10.7 million population, and we are given a rate, rate, increased by 0.43% annually for, we are given a number of years, which is 17. Now, what should we do? We can find out the population after 17 years by how? 10.7 million times um, the rate of increase, 1 plus rate of increase, it is equal to 0 0.0043, right? Uh, to the 17 power, why? Because it has increased by 17 consecutive years, right? If you calculate this, it is equal to 11.51 million. So, after 17 years, uh, after 17 years, the population has grown up to 11.51 million. Then, what should we do? The qu question is asking, by what percentage would the population have increased after such period, right? Therefore, um, 11.51 over 10.77 uh, times 100 is 